Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 15th to the 24th. What do we have for Leo? One card, please, an overall energy. What do we have for Leo for the week ahead? Keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. The Fool card. So the Fool is a new beginning. It's starting from scratch, taking a risk, doing something risky, uh, stepping into unknown territory with blind faith. So you're going to be uh, doing something you've never done. You may be running away from something, uh, leaving something behind, very spur of the moment. Okay, the Fool is very spur of the moment situation. It's where you just decide to go and you go very quickly in a new direction. Um, yeah, so this is a brand new beginning, a new the beginning of a new journey. And it's because you choose very suddenly to go. So it's like you're just done. You're, you're done being in that situation. You're, you're ready. You're ready to make a move. So you are going to be making a move. Um... Starting from scratch, starting with a clean slate, leaving it all behind, leaving something behind. What do we have for Leo? You know, that's acting on impulse. So you're going to be doing something, you know, that... You didn't plan. This is an unplanned move in a new direction. But it's exciting. It really is exciting. Oh, we got a month of the year. Bird perch. Waiting. Bird perched. Waiting for news, package, or letter. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So this is the birth of something new. And the Fool card is as well because it's a new journey. It's the beginning of a new journey. June. June is very prominent. Um, by June, you may be receiving the news that you've been waiting for. I know like June seems like it's a long ways away, but actually it's not. So you could be, you may be, maybe you've been waiting for something since June of last year or another year or whatever. Um, whatever this fool card is, is it's, it's time. It's time for your new beginning. It, it definitely is. So something to do with the month of June. However that resonates with you. You are about to start something new. You know, with this birth conception of a new enterprise. So, a new life is beginning for you. The beginning of a new journey. Seven of Wands, opposition, in a very tough position. So you're in a tough position. You're going to be dealing with opposition. There could be people that are against you, that are trying to stop you, that are causing you some sort of problems. Uh, you're definitely up against a challenge. You're, you are, so you will be challenged. You could be running into some challenges as well. You know, you, you know you're, you're headed in a new direction. There could be some hurdles. There could be some hurdles. You could have some people that don't like the decision that you have made. Okay, so be prepared for that. Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, you're going to be challenged. You are going to be challenged this week. Separation of some sort. Separation from somebody perhaps that you're not compatible with. This could be the end of a contract. You may have been tied to a contract that brought you a lot of challenges, that brought you a lot of opp opposition. The lover's reversed is a separation. It's not compatible. There's disharmony. It's the end of a contract. So you are ending a contract. You are. 
Ace of Pentacles, you've got a golden opportunity right in front of you. And I think that you are running towards that golden opportunity. You are literally running towards it. I mean, this is running. This is a golden opportunity. But yes, there's going to be some challenges. Um, now, this is about protection, too. So you could be, you know, getting some sort of protection. You know, somebody could be trying to protect you. You may be running towards a protector. I don't know how that resonates with you, but the Seven of Wands is a, it's a very protective energy. You may need to defend yourself this week. You probably are going to need to defend yourself. Um, but whatever this is, the golden opportunity is, a, is, a, is an investment or abundance or prosperity, a new business, a new job, a new home, new financial stability, new, new, stabi new stability period, uh, new security, getting a gift. This is also a reality check. You could be giving somebody a reality check. You may be getting a gift. You may be getting something given to you. Um, now, the aces I consider are a gift from God. So you may be receiving something, um, you know, that you obviously you've manifested something because this is a card of manifest manifestation. You've manifested something and this is, you're going to be getting whatever you manifested. And it's because you let go of your fear. I see no fear here. This is letting go of fear, running in a new direction towards prosperity, towards abundance. But the seven of wands, you know, you're running towards, you're going to run into some sort of challenge. Put it off that, put it that way. There could be some gossip this week. People could be talking about you. They could be talking about the, you know, decision that you have made. I think that you have made a decision to separate from some sort of contract or something or partnership. You're going your own way. You know, because a fool goes their own way. You're going in a different direction. And there's some definitely some opposition. You do have a golden opportunity for stability that is being given to you. Knight of Pentacles. Another, this is the opportunity. This may have to do with a job or something that you may be getting a new job or a new opportunity. Maybe even... Um, you're planning something. A plan is coming to fruition. Something that you have probably been thinking about is coming to fruition. Um, Knight of Pentacles. This is a prophet. Again, next to the Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be making a profit of some sort. Gaining some sort of stability this week. You may be building up financial security. Some of you are headed toward if you're single. If you're if you're say you're single and you're watching this, you are headed towards a stable, protective person that is going to protect you. This person could lead to something long term. After you've been in a contract that was uh unbalanced or there was no compatibility or whatever. This is in the past, this is the future. I feel like you are headed towards something long-term, the long-term, uh, permanent opportunity. You're getting an opportunity that you can save, that you can take to the bank that will last a long time. A long lasting opportunity is going to be offered to you or given to you. I think we have something to do with a bank here. Some of you could be getting an inheritance, a loan, a payoff, money, something like that. I'm not sure if this has something to do with a father. It may or may not. You could be running into opposition with somebody that is in, an, in a position of authority. This person is corrupt. They're on the wrong side of the law. They may be trying to hold you back. I'm just being honest. The emperor is a tyrant type of energy who is angry. This person uh, likes to be in control. So I feel like you are dealing with a very controlling individual that may try to cause you some sort of, uh, they may want to compete with you or they may want to fight with you or they may want to, you know, uh, bring you down. I feel like there is somebody that is definitely against you. They're against the fact that you are moving in a new direction. 
You know, and I feel like they're trying to hold you back. I think it's the false contract. You know, and it doesn't matter what sign this person is. This person is controlling. They like to be in control. So you're definitely dealing with a controlling individual who could be a boss, could be a father, could be a very, it's a very masculine energy. This masculine energy is uh, going to be causing you problems this week. I feel like they, um, they like to fight or they like to battle or they like to gossip. And I feel like they're just not happy with your desire or your decision. It's your, your decision to, you know, leave something behind. You're definitely, the fool card is leaving something behind. I think you're being very practical. I think you're using a lot of common sense. I think that you're accepting responsibility. And whoever you are, are dealing with is, uh, does it like that you are taking control? They like to be in control. Whoever you are dealing with doesn't really like responsibility anyway. They're not interested in helping you. You know, they're only looking out for their own good. They're very power hungry. Okay, this is somebody that feels as though they are entitled, they're on the wrong side of the law, they're un inexperienced, they just like the control that they have over you. So yeah, I feel like I feel like you need to protect yourself from this person, and maybe that's why you're running away, because this person is so controlling. I do see you running away from something with that fool card, and I do see gossip here. So I think there's going to be a lot of, this person may be spreading gossip. It's kind of like that narcissist that, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, smear campaign, you know, that does a smear campaign against you, you know, because they're so, their ego is so hurt. So they want to make you out to be the bad guy. So you may be dealing with that this week. Um. There's definitely going to be some sort of conflict with the Lovers Reverse and the Seven of Wands. That's a conflict with somebody who feels as though they are superior to you. You know, this is somebody that is very much uh, egotistical. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn. Seeing very, very clearly. You, you may have been confused or you may have been unsure of what you wanted to do but there's some sort of clarity that is coming if there's been some sort of uh if there's been confusion the confusion is going away put it that way you're going to be making a choice you know this is becoming clear of the choice that you need to run you need to go the choice is going to be made clear this week you have to protect yourself. You have to do what's right for you. You have to be practical. And you have to keep yourself safe. This, the Knight of Pentacles is about safety as well. You know? You're also going to be gaining some sort of, I think I already said it, security. Financial security or something like that. Securing your safety. However that... Uh, resonates with you you're going to be securing your safety from whoever this person is moving to a safer place or you know just protecting yourself from this it feels like you got a tyrant here you know you're protecting yourself you've got to protect yourself strength so yeah this is having courage having no fear moving forward you know, with strength and courage and determination. This is mastering your emotions, remaining calm. You're, you're really going to be in your own element this week. You're going to be, you know, exhibiting your strength. Everybody's going to see your strength. You're unstoppable. This week, you are unstoppable. You are in the top position. And there is somebody that is probably going to take you out of, or they're going to try. I don't think they're going to, they're going to succeed. Okay. I think that they're going to try to take you out of that position. This is somebody that is very bossy, very manipulative, very, 
controlling you know it feels like it's a father figure or a boss or somebody whoever this person is they're very very masculine it's a masculine energy who um really doesn't have a lot of experience but you know they they may have confused you or they may have fed you a line of fantasy or you know, they were obviously one of your options at one time, but now you're seeing very clearly that you can't work with this person. You're, I think that you're really going in a new direction. You're, you're, you're accepting the challenge. It's like, you know what? I accept the challenge. I'm strong enough. I know my value. I, I do not need to hold on to this contract that is not compatible. So yeah, I feel like this week you are finding your courage and your strength to separate from somebody. And I don't know who this person is. It could be anybody. You're separating from somebody that has caused you a lot of opposition. They've brought a lot of challenges into your life. And I feel like you're taking your power back from this person. I feel like you've given your power away to this person for some time. And you may have been in an illusionary state of mind. You may have not been seeing clearly. But this, at this time, you're going to be seeing very, very, very clearly. A lot of courage. I feel like you're you're going to be you're going to be. Uh, I think you make a decision, okay, you make a decision to go in a new direction and you're going to need to defend your decision against this person who tries to bring you down. They try to, and they try to mess with your self-esteem They like they've always done, okay, they try to bring you down. They're going to try to bring you down, you know, they're going to try to take you down from the, the level that you have gained. I feel like you have, you have picked yourself up, you're in a, you're in a very top position, you're dealing with somebody who is going to try to uh, take away that strength. And they're probably going to make you fearful they're, or they're going to try. They're going to try to scare you. They're going to try to make you fearful. They're going to try to take you down. But they're not going to succeed. Because I don't see you budging. I don't see you budging. I see you continuing, continuing to go in that direction. So yeah, I feel like you are uh, separating from a contract that is not compatible and protecting and you're doing it because you have to protect yourself. You know, I feel like there's no fear here. Don't have any fear. No fear. You are in the position that is on top. You are in the top position. So you don't have anything to be afraid of. This person may try to scare you. They may. I think you are securing something. You are securing something that, you know, is going to bring you long-term success. And you've got somebody that isn't happy about it. Three of Wands reverse. Now that's lack of foresight, a missed opportunity over the Emperor reverse. So whoever this masculine energy is, is totally unprepared. There, they didn't see this coming. This this person did not see it coming. They did not see that you would find your strength and your courage and your confidence and your willpower to protect yourself from them. They didn't see it. They don't they didn't see how strong you are. They didn't they thought that you were weak. They did. They thought that they were in control. But I don't think they're in control. I think you're in control. So anyway, I feel like you're going to be seeing, and I think they are too, whoever you're dealing with is going to be seeing, they're going to be coming out of illusion. They're going to be seeing very, very, very clearly that they have lost an opportunity. They have missed an opportunity. They have missed an opportunity. And that's what's going to make them angry. you got somebody who's going to be angry with you. And it's because you have leveled up. You have leveled up. You're, you, you know what you want, right? You've manifested some sort of security, something stable. So anyway, Leo, I feel like this week, you know, there's been a lot of time that has been wasted. This person, whoever you were dealing with, has wasted a lot of time. 
trying to control things. And I feel like now, now they may want, they may want, you know, to have, maybe they want to have something solid with you now. You know, they want to have something solid. They want to have something long term, you know, and you're going to have to really find the strength and the courage and the confidence, you know, to protect yourself. This could be a false contract. It looks like it is with the lovers reversed. I feel like you're dealing, definitely dealing with a false contract with somebody that is corrupt. And I feel like you have done a lot of healing. You've done a lot of inner work. You know, you're a lot stronger than you were. So anyway, I feel like you're going in a new direction. You've got somebody that may try to stop you or to hold you down. Do not let them. Get prepared for this person to come in with something. They're going to try to come in with something solid for you, okay? They're going to try to come in with something, you know, they may say, you know, they want this, they want this. They want something long term. They may say that they want to build a foundation with you or whatever. It's not true. And I hate to say that. You need to beware of false beginnings with that seven of cups. There will be consequences if you go down the wrong path. You're going to be making a spur of the moment decision. You're going to need to make a spur of the moment decision this week because you're going to be getting an offer from somebody that wants to keep their hold on you. This person may have not seen the opportunity. They may not have seen you as the golden opportunity. Now they do. But it's short-lived. There's there it is, it's short-lived. I feel like you are headed towards a new destination. You know, you're you deserve something long term. And it's because you turn your back completely, this person comes in. You're gonna have to protect yourself. Protect yourself from this false contract. Somebody may be coming back and they may be apologizing. We got the Eight of Cups reverse on the bottom. That's an apology, perhaps. This is somebody that is superficial. I say be very, very, very careful. Because when you get the Emperor in reverse, that is a masculine energy who just likes control. This person is power hungry. And now that you have gained so much strength, they're fear they're fearful. They're angry. They're angry. They're angry that you are no longer focusing on them. They want their this is like a narcissist that wants their supply back. You know, the lovers is about self-love. The lovers reversed. I feel like there's a uh, incompatible partnership here. I think you've you've been healing, and I feel like you have manifested something new. Something solid, something stable, something that could last. And while you are moving in this new direction towards this new opportunity, you have this tyrant who doesn't want to let you go now that you're moving in this new direction. This is a card of consequences and this one is too. So we have consequences here. Do you want to make a poor decision to get back involved with this false contract? Or do you want to protect yourself and continue to heal and not waste any time on this narcissist? Choice is always going to be yours. Good luck.